uh, we were just talking about only putting one plant in a jar because that is a lot of space for one plant. But of course, keeping them all separate and compartmentalized is a better idea because if one spoils, it would take out both of them. Uh, but if you are interested in saving materials and trying to start more plants, we are getting 30 jars from one liter of media, which is the basic recipe, but we can get as many as 80 tubes. And so you see, for instance, that I have um, like tall glass tube. We also have um, short plastic tubes, uh, such as this one. And uh, both of these are available, uh, usually for about a dollar each for the tube and the cap. But the tube is valuable because we can make 80 tubes with the same amount of media it took to make 30 jars. So if you were interested in doing that many cuttings the first time, which is still excessive, but I do it and I enjoy it, is to uh, um, uh, make tubes instead, or even better, is you make, say, 20 or 25 jars, and then with the extra uh, ingredients, you just pour the rest of the media into tubes, so we can have 25 jars and like 15 tubes, which is and cool. does it matter what plants you put in a tube versus a jar? No. So, I mean, in, in that jar you have over there, it looks like the plants are completely growing up against the plastic. Is that going to cause any problems? Uh, it is not. Um, you're not going to get any disease because you're already in a sterile environment? That's right. If no disease started growing right from the beginning, it's never going to happen. Exactly. Uh, the only thing about this is, yes, it is quite dense. Um, this is not a typical container for multiplying because in the case of trying to get many plants, um, you know, it is but much to, more But for the first cutting, First it's good because once you have success, now, now you can divide it into a bigger jar. Your and you want to only have one per jar initially, so... Yeah, your first cutting is not going to grow to look like that <laughs> in the time you're going to leave it in the top jar. Um, this, by the way, is Gabby's uh, sample. When I left it here in June, and it is now the 8th of August, um, it looked like this. So it, had grew, it grew from this to that in two months.